your girl miss honey coming to you with another um super super interesting article that i have read um this article is from okay magazine and it kind of sort of ties in with um, my spoon full of honey from yesterday and this article um just talks about the housewives you guys know the housewives from bravo's real housewives franchise i think there is atlanta new york beverly hills orange county there used to be miami i think there's an australian one um and i'm sure there's several other ones in the works if um uh bravo andy has anything to do with it <clears throat> Um, and I'm not sure if the term Bravo Andy is, uh, um, accredited to my girl Narob, but if it is, just in case, shout out to Narob. But anyway, um, the article from OK Magazine, the title is Housewives are ranked from poorest to richest and more celebrity news. We're only interested in the housewives. Balling or broke? The housewives are ranked from poorest to riches, from Nene Leakes to Candy Burris and Kyle Richards. Find out who has millions and who has none. Now, I will tell you right now, spoiler alert, we don't find out who has none. We just find out from the lowest to the highest um, uh, ranked, and you can deduce from there. <laughs> Who is the small potatoes uh, in the stew? Okay, so again, balling and broke, the housewives ranked from poorest to riches. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the richest housewife of them all? Click through these net worth approximations from the richest.com to find out. Okay, so first we see Teresa Judice. Um, she is worth four hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry. She's four hundred and fourteen thousand dollars in debt. The forty-three-year-old Real Housewives of New Jersey star served almost a year in federal prison for her financial scams, and she and her husband are flat broke. Despite their cookbooks, hair products, and wine lines. She has agreed to give the government 25% of her Bravo salary towards restitution when she films again. Now, why is this important? It's important because this uh, information, if true, has to jade everything that she does going forward on The Real Housewives of New York. Uh, I mean, um, of New Jersey. You absolutely cannot expect... 110% genuine openness from her. Um, although you may get it, you can't expect it because she uh, has the devil beating down her door. Okay, you guys, information is power. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is Tamara Judd. She's worth $800,000. The monster mom has not been as successful as her co-stars at raking in the bucks without a wealthy husband to bolster her what the fuck? bolster her bank account sorry guys the riches.com claimed that judd 48 had yet to amass a multi-million dollar fortune as a gym owner uh, on the real housewives of orange county still i mean you know eight hundred thousand dollars is nothing to snub at but i guess when you in California idiot small potatoes. Um, Melissa Gorga, you guys know this is the sister-in-law to Teresa Judice. She's married to Teresa Judice's brother. Melissa Gorga is worth $1.5 million, which, you know, I mean, I guess your best revenge is your paper because um, for a long time, this is the first season she has not had an, 
knockdown drag out beef with her sister-in-law Teresa Judas and now I guess we can assume we know why she is just a little bit better off her and Teresa's brother she's worth 1.5 million dollars the 36 year old Real Housewives of New Jersey star is worth at least a million along with her real estate husband real estate developer husband Mm -hmm. and she's 36 years old y'all Next, we have Phaedra Park. She's worth $2 million with her husband, Apollo Nida, in prison. She has been able to support their two boys with her own wealth. The 44-year-old lawyer who once represented Michael Jackson amassed her wealth via her firm, Parks Group PC. Um, and, you know, there's some school of thought that Phaedra has amassed her wealth through... Um, illegal gains uh we know for sure that there is no bomb threat that there is only bomb music out there so yeah moving forward then we have vicky gunvalson she's worth seven million dollars the 53 year old insurance entrepreneur uh, created her own wealth as a small business owner a fact she routinely brags about on the real housewives of Orange County um, so yeah she uh, sells insurance and you guys know what a huge money maker insurance is because um, raise your hand if you don't have any of any sort of any kind exactly exactly next we have Nene Neeks which I was shocked at but not really <clears throat> Nene Neeks is worth 12 million dollars when she started The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Leaks was the fan favorite and top paid woman in the franchise. And she returned the favor by bringing the highest rankings to ratings to a savvy businesswoman. Leaks 47 parlayed her reality career into roles on Broadway. The Celebrity Apprentice and even a sitcom, The New Normal. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't really have a lot to say about Nene. Aside from the fact that she let some of those um, hairstylists, I'm using my quote fingers, hairstylists um, put some of the most hideous wigs on her and the worst foundation on her. I don't have nothing bad to say about Nene. She is a true rags to riches story in my eyes. Next we have Ramona Singer. She's worth $18 million. Uh, money doesn't go as far as the Big Apple, as far in the Big Apple, but Real Housewives of New York City star Singer, 59, was able to accumulate her wealth via her fashion line and other business ventures. Um, first of all, I did not know Ramona Singer was almost um, 60 years old. She looks darn good for, to be almost 60, but it would explain her diarrhea at the mouth and her inappropriate behavior. Moving on. Shannon Beter, 20 million. Before her husband was caught cheating on her, the Real Housewives of Orange County Blonde built up a small fortune with him in Southern California. Now, I can't remember if this is the young lady that was married to Chelsea Grammer or not. But anyway, I digress. Um, Bethany Frankel, who uh, you guys know, hands down, is my favorite housewife uh, of all the franchises. Um, $25 million she's worth. Real Housewives of New York City star Frankel, 45, raked in a hefty $2 million per season for the show. But her cookbooks, novels, and selling her skinny girl liquor line are what earned her the big bucks. She went through a nasty divorce and had to fork out some money to her ex, but she remained solidly wealthy. I'm so proud of Bethany, just like Nene. I mean, Bethany was really, first, second season of Housewives of New York, she was really scraping by. But baby, when I tell you, she stuck to it, found her sweet spot, and boom, $25 million, y'all. Um, then we have Heather Dubrow. 
She's worth 30 million, the wealthiest of the Real Housewives of Orange County. The 46-year-old was a working actress before reality TV fame, but her husband, plastic surgeon Terry Dubrow, brought in the big butt with his lucrative practice. So, it's not all about her earnings, it's more about who she married to, but still, $30 million is nothing to snub your nose at, so yeah. Candy Burris, another African-American melanated woman that I am super proud of. She's worth $35 million. The Real Housewives of Atlanta wealthiest woman. Burris was a successful singer, songwriter, and producer before becoming a reality star. The 39-year-old was an established force in the music industry where she earned her millions. Now... While I am super proud of Candy, um, I can definitely uh, see why she is um, now taking a different stance with Todd. I mean, their energy is completely, completely different than it was when they're dating now that they're married. Um, she clearly appears to have a lot more leverage over him. Um, and I can also see why... Um, this whole fallout with her and Phaedra is so detrimental, um, and has played out the way it has. You know, it, there's a pecking order. Um, that's just human nature. There's a pecking order. Um, and I think we're seeing that play out between Phaedra and Candy. Let's move on. Adrian Maloof, 50 million. Although she left The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after season three, she returned for season six, just as rich as before. Her wealth came from family money, including casinos and formerly a professional basketball team. <sighs> yeah, so again, this goes back to pecking order. Her and um, Lisa Vanderpump had a real, real beef. Again, this goes back to the whole pecking order um, scenario that um, I've mentioned before between Candy and Phaedra. Um, obviously, Lisa is a little bit more up there than Maloof is. So, um, yeah, you got to know your place in the world of money, don't you? Yeah. Pecking order. Next, who do we have? Lo and behold, Lisa Vanderpump, 65 million, the British Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star. And her husband, Ken Todd, built their, frame, their fame with restaurant businesses around the world. The 55-year-old reality star continued her success with hot spots in Beverly Hills and Hollywood. And you guys don't know... Lisa Vanderpump, she has her own spinoff show, Vanderpump Rules, which uh, is all about everything that goes on in um, her restaurant there in in uh, California. And um, she is all things pink. She loves animals. And she is also best known for the doves and the swans that um, rest outside of her front door in other words you got to cross the moat to get to her front door yeah the chick's worth money next we have kyle richards who is worth 100 million now this is where the pecking order doesn't make as much sense because kyle spends a lot of time chasing behind lisa <clears throat> and it's weird to find out that kyle is actually worth more money than um Vanderpump, but it must be about who Vanderpump knows versus who Kyle knows. Again, if you watch the show, you realize uh, that there is a pecking order, and B, everybody has to know their place based upon their worth. So, Kyle Richards is worth 100 million. She's 46 year old Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star. Made a decent salary as a young actress, but it is thanks to her husband, real estate mogul Mauricio Umansky, that she earns the spot as the richest housewife 
she um he was rated the number six top producing real estate agent in the united states by the wall street journal and the richest website estimated his wealth at 100 million so yeah you guys that is the whole skinny on um the richest to the poorest ranks again um we don't know who the poorest is, but we did not see Sheree, Sheree Whitfield, did we? We did not. We did not see um, Cynthia Bailey, did we? We did not. We did not see Lisa Renna, did we? We did not. We did not see um, the Countess. Uh, from Housewives of New York, did we? And we didn't see any of the Miami wives, any of the Australian wives. Um, again, we don't know their worth, but we know that they're not mentioned here. Um, the reason why I thought this article was um, important and very interesting is because we have a lot to say about the housewives and how they act and how they behave. I'm telling you, money has a lot to do with it. The coin... The acquiring of the coin, the losing of the coin has a lot to do with it. You're not going to make me believe that these people are not shucking and jiving for the coin. It is the perpetual, consistent seeking of the coin that affects how people behave on these shows, how they treat one another, right, wrong, or indifferent. We haggle over it in the blogs and in our reviews, but at the end of the day, these people are doing what they got to do to make money, to keep money, to keep fame, and to keep success. And when you look at it from that perspective, you it tends to skew how you see and how you view these individuals, okay? So the next time you watch one of these um, franchises, which... Uh, you guys know if you've watched my screen full of honey that I love Housewives of Beverly Hills and I love the Housewives of New York. They are my favorite. I don't review any of them, although I do watch all of them. Those two are my favorite. Um, I just have a different perspective of who they are and their behavior and what it all means in the grand scheme of things. Um, that's it for me, honeybees. Please let me know what you think about this article and um, my opinions on this article. I'd love to hear it. Um, until next time, honeybees. Ah,